penny. This is a tutorial how to make your own smoke bomb. Firstly, you need a ping pong ball. Then, you need scissors. Take the scissors and poke it into your ping pong ball. Then, cut the ping pong ball into two halves like shown. Sometimes it's a little difficult because of where the two halves are where joint by production. If you have them in two halves, cut the halves again in halves. So you get four quarters. These quarters you can then again cut in half. And the reason of doing this is you have to have cut the ping pong ball in lots of little pieces. Now take a scissor take an eighth of the ping pong ball and cut it into little pieces. Make sure that these pieces are not too big. If you want, you can cut them again in half. Now do that with all eighths. I've cut the ping pong ball to little to little pieces. Now take a newspaper, cut out a square. Roughly 20 to 20 centimeters. Now place the rest of the ping pong ball into the middle of your newspaper. Now put newspaper into your left or right hand, push into the middle and close your hand. Twist the top and you you have something like I have a ball with an end. Cut off what you don't cut off a bit and you should have something like I have. Now take the silver foil and cut all so and square out all the roughly twenty by twenty centimeters. Place the bomb into the middle of the Silver so foil and do the same as I did, as you or I did with the newspaper. Cut off an end. You don't have to, but it looks nicer. Now, you should have something like this. Fix it a little bit and finish. I've made some other ones. They all look a little bit different, but they're all the same. Now, if you want to make a s stand for your bomb, take a glass, some wire, long one middle and two short ones, and your bomb. You also need a candle. Take the longest wire and make a circle. Uh, join the ends somehow. You'll be probably faster than me. I just twiddled them. They got loose, loose, and I got just fed up.
Now when you have done this, squash it so you have something like here. Open your glass, place it on top and squash the sides down so it can sit on the glass easily. Now take the middle length wire and also make also a little circle and join the ends again. This time it worked on the first try. Place it in the middle of the of the big one. Take the little piece of wire and join the big circle with a little circle. It's a little bit difficult, but you'll get it. Now the other side. you should have something like I have now place you can on top of your jar place your bomb on top and see if it holds if not just push and it will sit on it one time like here. If you want you can repeat it as often as you want. So two glasses. The stands <coughs> the glasses have now candles inside. And put your bombs place the bombs on top. Now let's go outside the lighter. 